Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, and I love stuff. And I also love saving money. So, I went to two different Walmarts, and I found so many toys on clearance, and I'm so excited about it that I want to show you all the cool stuff that I bought. Let me know in the comments, do you find a lot of clearance toys where you live? Because I hardly ever find good toys on clearance, which is why I'm so excited about this haul. And because I love stuff, I did also go in a thrift store. So at the end of this video, I'll also show you what I found at the thrift store. Let me get them out and show you what I bought. One of the things I was most excited about finding was these world's smallest micro mystery toys. I had made a short showing these because they're so cool, but I did not want to pay $6 each. So when I found them for $2 each, I knew I had to get some. I got five pink, two yellow. If they had had more, I would have bought more, but I'm super excited to open these up in a video very soon. Another pile of mystery toys I plan on opening in a video soon. I got five of these magic mixies for $1.50 each. And when I went down another aisle, I found this magic mixie cauldron for $3. So I decided I needed the cauldron so that I could open all of these with a little extra magic. So I'll be opening all of those in a video very soon. I did get six of these Disney Ushis pencil toppers. They say $1.50, but they rung up a dollar. So I thought that was a great price and I love Disney stuff. So I got six of those and I got one Mario Kart mystery toy just because I love Mario Kart. If they had had more, I would have bought more, but they only had one. I bought one of these. It's a ninja mystery toy. I don't even know what this is, but for $1.50, I thought, why not open one up and see what it's about? I got two sets of these Disney Dorable Let's Go for $5 each. Super great price. I've actually already recorded some videos opening some of these, but I haven't released the videos yet. So you can definitely look forward to, I think, five different Dorables Let's Go videos. But since they were $5, I did buy two more sets of these because I love them so much. They are so cute. I really hope I get a Kermit the Frog when I open those, but we'll find out in a future video. I got a nice pile of mystery plush for $3 each. I got two of these pop soft plush with the turtles and octopuses. I think that's so cool. I didn't even know these existed. I've seen the elephants, I've seen the ducks, but I had not seen this version. So I thought it was really cool to get a couple of these. $3 isn't incredibly cheap, but I'm still excited about that. And they also had these Disney's Dorables plush for $3 each. There aren't any codes on them, so it's definitely a mystery. I wish there was codes so I can make sure I got all three, the Stitch, Angel, and Scrump plush, but there was no codes. So I just decided to buy two of the Stitch and I got one of the Winnie the Poohs, $3 each for a mystery plush. Sounded like a win to me. So I'll be opening all of those in a video very soon. Something I was definitely super excited to find was this Godzilla Kong Empire toy. This is Sharking with Whiplash. How cool is this? Uh, this was marked down to $12, so just over 50% off. Very nice to find a brand new toy already on clearance. I was definitely excited to pick this up. I do love the Godzilla movies. I'm a huge fan, so getting this toy for a great price was really great for me. I did pick up a couple of random small toys. I got this Mickey Mouse for $2.75. I do have Disney stuff all over my house, so I had to have him. I did grab this Mighty Thor Hot Wheels car for a dollar. I don't think I have this one. The packaging is beat up, but I don't care for a dollar. 
And then I also got this Rocket Raccoon Hot Wheels car. I do already have this one. I actually have it in multiple versions with different cardboard backings because I collect Gardens of the Galaxy stuff. But for a dollar, I couldn't resist getting an extra that I might could open up. One of the best discounted things I found was this Barbie color reveal set. This comes with a doll, full-size Barbie doll, a Chelsea doll, and a mystery puppy dog. So I'm super excited to open this up and tie-dye all the clothes and accessories. You get a lot of stuff in here. I have been watching this on the shelf at Walmart for two years, but it was $50, which was way too much to me. And I got this marked down to $15, which is a much better deal. And I am super excited to be opening that up on a video very soon. <laughs> also in the doll section, I was able to get this Toralei Daughter of the Werecats for $9. I have seen so many people in their videos showing off dolls that they found on clearance. And I am never lucky when it comes to finding clearance dolls. So I was very excited to find this for only $9. Super excited about that. I am collecting Monster High dolls now. I love them so much. I've tried to resist for a while, but I've given up on resisting and it is now another collection that I am building. Here we have some things that weren't on clearance, but I could not resist. Um, I'm really hoping this is the shark. I'm going to be opening this on a video on my other channel. The day that I went shopping, I also went to Five Below and bought some Squishmallows. So I'm going to show those off on my Squishmallow channel. I had to grab this extra socks plush because he's so cute. I already have one in my collection, but I wanted one that I could snuggle and not worry about ruining the condition of. And I did grab some mini Barbie Land mystery dolls. I was really excited to find these in the store. Uh, spoiler alert, I have videos coming very soon of all of the mini Barbie Land stuff. I did buy all three of the mini Barbie Land dream houses, so I'm gonna open those in a video. I also bought all five of the mini Barbie Land vehicles, so I'll be opening all of those in a video. And since I happened to come across these in the store, I will be opening six of these mini Barbie Land mystery dolls in another video. So I guess that's going to be my mini Barbie Land three-part series coming very soon. If you want to see videos where I open all of these clearance mystery toys that I got in that Barbie doll set, make sure you subscribe because I love recording when I open the toys because it allows other people to enjoy it and have some fun too. Now let me show you the stuff that I bought at the thrift store when I was done grabbing all the clearance Walmart toys. If you didn't know, I do collect Beanie Babies and every other kind of tie plush. So that's what most of this thrift haul is. I bought this bag for $3 because it has an I Love Mississippi Beanie Baby Bear in there. I don't have that one, so I had to grab that. It also has a random cow. Can't go wrong with an extra plush. I also grabbed this Stilts Beanie Boo for $2. Very cute. Missing his tag, but for $2, I don't mind that. I also grabbed this Thai Monsters. It's got a unicorn horn. I don't have any with unicorn horns. This is Delilah. She was $3. Very excited to add another Monsta to my collection. I got this $3 bag because it has two Thai Fluffy Owls. I'm pretty sure they're both Owens, but they've got different coloring, so I definitely wanted both of those for $3. And it has a random rainbow corn in the bag as well. The last grab bag of Beanie Babies I got for $3 was this one. I don't think I have Amber the Cat, so I had to pick this up. It does still have the tag. And there is also a Nanook in there. I already have multiples of that Beanie Baby. But for $3, getting one I don't have and an extra one I already have is a great deal. The last tie item I got was this. I would call it a pillow pal. This rainbow turtle is a little dirty. He needs a little cleaning, but he is so cute. And he was only $3, so I had to grab him for my huge tie plush collection. I did pick up one Build-A-Bear. 
This is a Harry Potter Build-A-Bear. It was only $3, which I think is an amazing price for a high quality newer Build-A-Bear. I love the fluffiness of this guy. I do already have him, but for $3, I could not resist getting a second one for my Harry Potter collection. And the last thing I grabbed at the thrift store was this bag. It was $3, but it was 30% off. So I paid about $2 and there is a vintage Teresa doll and a vintage Barbie doll in the bag. Super excited about that. I love finding vintage Barbie dolls, especially the Teresa dolls with their brown hair. I love them the most. So I was really excited to grab that for my doll collection. Let me know in the comments, guys, what was your favorite thing that I bought in this clearance toy and thrift toy haul? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe and come back to watch me open up all these mystery toys. And until next time, bye.